Hey everyone, Digital David here. Today we're going to be unboxing and reviewing the Fantasy All Heavy Duty Dual Suction Cup Mount. It's compatible with DSLR cameras, camcorders, and your action cameras like your GoPro. They did send me this product to review, but any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. If Fantasy All sounds familiar to you guys, it should be because a long time ago I reviewed a handheld uh, mount for them as well, so it's good to have their brand back on my channel. You can find out more about this product in the video description below. Please go ahead, check that out. It'll take you right to Amazon. You can do your shopping from there, see the most accurate price, read some reviews, check out some photos, some tech specs, that sort of thing. This is how it's going to come packaged to you directly from Amazon. Really nice packaging on the front. Love the uh, uh, image right there, and then just how simple it is with these icons showing you what it's compatible with. And then they got a nice logo up top. Same with the side. The back's gonna tell you more about instructions of actually how to mount this and what it's compatible with. So let's go ahead now and open it up. I got it opened up, you can see the two suction cups, you can see the DSLR mount, you can see your GoPro mount and the phone mount. Let's go ahead now, unbox it and set it up. Setting it up was pretty easy, straightforward. They don't provide any instructions, but basically there's only one way that this bolt can go through there. And then you can tighten it even tighter than I did. But it is cool that you have this flexibility if you want to be able to adjust these depending on you know the level or the angle that you're gonna be adhering this to something. Now I would recommend you want it flat, obviously in a clean, dry surface. This center mount wasn't very hard to install either. You just twist one thread in. I like, again, that they got those measurements. So my 90s perfectly line up right there, which is cool. So I guess the point would be that you can know maybe what angle or rotation for the future if you ever want to capture maybe that shot again. But really nice. Again, I love that built-in level on here. It's cool too. And then obviously you can unlock this ball and lock it in place. And then where that level is, you can loosen that. And this slides right off for your camera to attach. So now the next step for us, let's go ahead, let's attach the DSLR to it and see if we can even just suction it to the table for now. Got the base attached to the DSLR right there. Then you can go ahead, slide it on just like so. And then you're gonna tighten it down with that little side lever right there. So you can see it's definitely holding its weight and you can, again, clamp this to a lot of different places. For fun, let's just see if we can suction it to the table. I just attached it to the table. It's really hard to do. You really have to crank those down so I can tell it's nice and snug right there. Not coming off. And it's cool because if you want to get a shot like this, you could just rotate the camera, that sort of thing. So it looks really nice, really cool. Again, you have a lot of flexibility here to move the ball head as well. So if you want to do something straight up or I guess technically straight down, you have that option. So just for fun, let's go ahead. We're going to go outside and try to attach it to my car and see if we can get any cool shots that way. So you can see from my setup right here, I went ahead and attached it to the hood of my car. I did not have any trouble doing that. It worked out really well, did a great job. I love how big this button is too. This knob's really helpful as you adjust that ball to get the camera positioned where you want it to be. So everything went on smooth, really nice. Again, you can continue to adjust the product as you need, but it looks really cool. Perfect for the DSLR on there. And now we'll go out and we'll get a driving shot. I'm in my car driving right now. It's doing a really good job. I'm taking it on some really bumpy side streets just so you can kind of see how durable it is, but it's doing great right on the hood of my car. Going about 15 miles an hour right now over some really bumpy roads and it's doing a great job. Excited to see the footage too. Really cool. Big turns, big bumps. It's doing great. So I'm back from my test drive. I only went about 15 miles per hour or so. You've got to definitely work up your confidence to put a lot of faith in two suction cups. I had no problems with it. It mounted great to my hood, didn't damage my hood or anything. This is perfect for a DSLR. It can totally support the weight or again, a smaller action camera or even your phone you could put on this and mount to your car or any place you want to get 
creative. I did notice when I went to release it from my hood, this one was really snug, but this one was actually kind of loose. So you just wanna make sure that you really get it nice and locked down the first try before you go out and put some really expensive stuff on it. Make sure the area is clean, make sure the area is dry, make sure it's level. So again, you can adjust these two knobs right here then you can crank those down. I didn't have any problems. I went over a ton of bumps on a semi-gravel paved road. So really happy with it. Again, the product is very affordable and the link is in my video description below. You can go ahead, check it out, see if it's the right product for you. Thank you all for being here. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please don't hesitate to reach out. I'd be happy to answer your questions or if I can't answer your questions, I'd be happy to try to help you find the right source that can. So again, hit that like button, hit that sub button for me. I want you guys to be around my channel for a very long time. I got a lot of content coming out just about every day. So stay tuned for some more exciting products. Please, 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 if you're on Instagram, go ahead, subscribe to my account. I'd love to have you be one of my followers. And if you're on Facebook, same thing, hit that like button on my page, as well as give me a follow on Twitter. Go ahead, join my newsletter as well. Check out my website, guys, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks.